Not a fairy tale. Come and play the game. If you want to take the tower on, you'll have to say his name. It's Wily. Wily. Wily Sneak. <laughs> It's off to the tower! You'll be up against each other. Sabotage the game, my friend, but do not blow your cover! I am waiting for you, kiddies! Who will take the rest? Because only one will escape! And the rest? <laughs> You're trapped! Oh, there's something important about to date, but I've missed lost me calendar! Feeding the Jub Jubs, no. Being released from the tower, I wish. <gasps> It's Wily Sneak's birthday. He's 128. Well, in tower years. I got him a prezi gift. A lovely wassail jug. But it's not ready for giving just yet. <laughs> I hope he likes it. <gasps> They've arrived. <whistles> yeah, up they come. Up to the tower. Just think, if this fragile rope was to break, it would be a disaster. Because we'd have to buy a new rope. <laughs> This batch of unfortunates are from Newcastle. There's Georgia, who thinks sprouts are overrated. Camille, who used to have a job as a duck. Andrew, he has a seaside villa in Nice. Ellie is choosy about her hairstyles. Jessica is partial to a slice of quiche. And Zach is engaged. Please leave a message. Beep. In they go! <laughs> this is my watch tank. This is where I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. For years, more than half full of unfortunates have been coming to the tower. Imprisoned at the top, they work to pass the challenges and escape each floor. For each challenge, a new saboteur is chosen. You are the saboteur. Only one will escape with the key of freedom, and the rest remain trapped! Floor six, goblet of ice. <laughs> I hope they've wrapped up warm for this one. In this challenge, unfortunates must carry snow across the icy stepping stones and fill the goblet of ice. But it's not that easy. The stones are deadly slippery, and there's a monstrous gale blowing. It's windier than a plate full of baked beans. What's more, if so much as a toe slips off them stepping stones, the goblet will tip up and empty out all of the snow they've collected. So they'll have to start all over again. <laughs> who is the one who can't be trusted? It's time to pick the saboteur! Ellie, do not react. You are the saboteur, and you are the only one who can hear my voice. It is your job to make sure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by making sure the goblet is not full at the end of 90 seconds. Don't panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. So, if Ellie wants to escape, she has to make sure the team slip up. <laughs> Unfortunate. This is Goblet of Ice. To pass, the goblet must be full at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin now! Remember, Ellie, the goblet will tip over if you tread on the ice. As your teammates spread out, stay at the back. They're less likely to spot you. This challenge is all about timing. You must tip the goblet when no one is looking. Nicely done, but if you wait until the goblet is full, you'll get the maximum benefit. Remember to keep looking around. The goblet's filling up. 60 seconds. You need to tip it over. Move into position. You're less likely to be seen if you make sure it's safe. Stop! Andrew was looking straight at you. Wait until they're concentrating on the goblet. Well done, Ellie. You're very sneaky. Try spinning the snow when you're passing it. Excellent. Empty bowl. <laughs> 30 seconds. Oh, no. The goblet is filling up. What are you going to do? Check no one's watching. <laughs> Time is running out, Ellie. Do it again. And again, Ellie. 
do it again. <laughs> this is Ten, good. Nine, They're getting eight, faster, Ellie. Seven, this six, is great. Five, four, They'll never do it now. Three, <laughs> two, one. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Oh, nicely done. But has the saboteur been spotted? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Georgia, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Andrew because I've seen him step down from the ice blocks a couple of times. Camille. I think the saboteur was Andrew, because when I, whenever I looked, Andrew was the only one moving. Ellie. I think the saboteur was Zach, because I've seen him putting his foot on the floor quite a few times. Andrew. I also think it was Zach, because I saw him put his foot down on the ice a couple of times. Jessica. I think it was Zach as well, because I saw him put his foot down a couple of times. Zach. I think the saboteur was Ellie, because she, I saw her put her foot down a couple of times. You have voted for Zack. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact... Ellie. Zack, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, a successful sabotage, and they kept their identity secret. That's how to play the game. Zach, how do you feel about being trapped? I'm a little bit upset, but it was fun while it lasted. Poor unfortunate Zach. You're trapped! <laughs> oh, that Ellie was as sly as a slippery snow fox. Floor five, fairy trials. For the little people, it's judgment day. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must place the fairy traps into the exterminator so they can get a real good look at them. If they decide it's a good fairy, they must release it. If they decide it's a bad fairy, they must blow it up. If they guess wrong three times, they will fail. It's time to pick the saboteur. Georgia, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by convincing the others to identify the fairies incorrectly. You must release the bad fairies and exterminate the good fairies. All the bad fairies will have red hair. You must release them. Don't panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Can Georgia make the team fail and get one floor closer to freedom? Unfortunate. This is fairy trials. To pass, you must correctly identify three fairies. Let the challenge begin now. Right, Georgia, remain calm and collected. You don't want to give anything away. Hi. Remember, the bad fairies have blue flowers. Oh, she's got a blue flower. Convince them to release her. A bit bad. It kind of looks like it's angry. Think of a reason to change their minds, Georgia. It's, it's looking at we are like a wings flutter. It, like the bottom of it, it looks like there's like lightning coming out of it. Oh, they're not convinced. Say it's good. I think, I it's, think it's good. I think, I think it's good. bad. Oh dear. Just go with them, Georgia. Yeah, alright, then let's try that. Yeah, bad ones. Yeah, we're bad. Bad. Right. Yeah, bad. <laughs> OK, keep calm. You can still do this. Be careful. I think the girls might be onto you. Let's see if they are. She's good. Destroy her. Oh, that looks bad. Say she's good. That looks good, actually. That looks good. That looks good. 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 I think it's bad. I think it's bad. It looks really bad. I think it looks quite good. I think it looks bad. I knew it. 
saboteur is automatically locked in the room. But before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur was and why? Georgia, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Jessica because she, um, when the fairy came up, she was always like the first one to say it was good or, or it was bad. Camille. I think the saboteur was Georgia because for two of the fairies, she said the wrong answer. Ellie. I think the saboteur was Georgia, because every time we said one thing, she said the opposite. Andrew. I also think it was Georgia, because she was always the one who, who had the first answer. Jessica. Georgia, because she kept disagreeing with us. You have voted for Georgia. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Georgia. Georgia, you failed to sabotage the challenge, and you were detected. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, they failed to sabotage and failed to hide their identity. Double trouble. <laughs> Georgia, how do you feel about being trapped? Well, I feel all right because from the start I had a funny feeling that I was going to be trapped. Poor unfortunate Georgia. You're trapped! <laughs> oh, beware, Georgia. Those nastiferous fairies don't have nip. Floor four. Two-faced liar! Meet Madame Dervazage, the two-faced liar. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must listen to Madame's reflection make statements. They must decide if they are true or false. If they get three right, they will pass. But get three wrong, and they will fail. Now, which unfortunate will want the team to believe those lies? Andrew. Do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by making sure your team answer the questions incorrectly. Don't panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. If Andrew succeeds, he could be lying his way to freedom. Unfortunate. This is two-faced liar to pass. You must guess correctly three times. Let the challenge begin now! Quem brûlé, what do you have to say for yourselves? Enough of your foolish chatter! Let us get on with the game! Here we go. A dog's sense of smell is ten times more sensitive than a human's. So is it true or false? 
It's false, Andrew. So make them think it's true. Read my book. Dogs have a better sense of smell than humans, but I'm not sure that it's ten times. Yeah. Great. Well, I've got two dogs, and I think it is true. Are we even yeah. better? Are you agreed on two? Yes. 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 Ah, let us see. No! It is false! Act disappointed. No! It is 1,000 times more sensitive! Pay attention. Horses cannot vomit! It's true. Convince them it's false. I've never ever heard of it. Say you've seen it. I'm sure I've seen a horse vomit before because yeah. it eats. It eats. It eats so much, it just vomits it out. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I've never seen a horse vomit before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Better let them have it. Yeah. You want to go for true? Yeah. We are right. agreed on true. Don't yeah. panic. Yes. You still have a chance. We. Oui, it is true. Yes. Here is your next statement. Some turtles can breathe through their bottles. It's true. Convince them it's false. I think it's false. True. Say something. Um, that's just unnatural. <laughs> that's unnatural. <laughs> that is unnatural. Ellie said <laughs> false. Yeah, I think I'm agreeing with Ellie. Yeah. Because it's I false. think I think that's just I think it's false. It. We are agreed on false. And remember, yeah, it was Ellie's choice. No! It no. is false. Blame Ellie. Ellie. No so it is true! Here is your statement. A python can swallow a sheep without chewing it. It's true. Persuade them it's false. <laughs> That's rubbish. Python is not rubbish. That's false, definitely. No, you can't swallow a sheep without chewing it. A sheep is huge! But a sheep is huge. In our mouth. Keep going. A sheep is like two times the size of you. <laughs> I think it's false. Um, I'll just agree. But, what, okay. but you could. I'll just. Oh, yeah, it's okay. You got this one in the bag. Buzz! <laughs> no! Oh, no! I'm sorry, guys. Great acting. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. I think that all went rather well. I did it. You must now vote. For who you think the saboteur was and why. Ellie, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Jessica because she didn't say anything. Andrew. I also think it was Jessica because she didn't say anything through the game and she always just kept agreeing with our answers. Jessica. I think it was Andrew because he got a couple wrong. Camille. I think the saboteur was Andrew because he agreed with most of the wrong answers. You have voted for Andrew and Jessica. You know what this means? Draw straws! Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. <laughs> Jessica, you have drawn the short straw. Therefore, you are the unlucky one. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Andrew. <laughs> Jessica, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, bad luck, Jessica. Trapped on floor four. <laughs> Jessica, why do you think the others voted for you? Because I wasn't saying much. Poor, unfortunate Jessica. <laughs> oh, poor Jessica. That was as close as my eyes. Floor three, Camp Fia. <laughs> It's your tense if you dare. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must find nine pieces of wood and assemble the campfire. Once built, they must take shelter and rest. But beware, if someone puts the fire out, the moon howler will appear. They must keep the beast at bay and quickly build the fire in time, or they will fail. There's only three, so who will it be? It's time to pick. 
the saboteur. Ellie, do not react. It's you again. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by making sure the fire is not built at the end of two minutes. Remember, as soon as you put out the fire, you will have just seven seconds to destroy it and get back to your tent. Don't panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. So, Ellie is the next saboteur. Oh, I can't wait. Unfortunate. This is Camp Fear. To pass, the fire must be complete at the end of two minutes. Let the challenge begin now! I hope you're feeling sneaky, Ellie. The aim of this game is to look like you're working as a team. The fire's built into your tent. I'll let you know when it's safe. Okay, the coast is clear. Out you come. First, put the fire out. Then you've got seven seconds to destroy the fire. Good. Wait, not yet. Out, out you come. Where are you, Ellie? Don't let the moon howler frighten you. Fire complete. Back to the tent. Wait. Okay. Out you come. Tread carefully. This time, throw the logs down the side of the tent. Wait. Where are you going, Ellie? You mustn't let the moon howler distract you. Right. Out. Out. That's it. What is that thing? Next time you sneak out, spread the logs further out and ignore the moon howler. Right? Out! Out you come! Remember, you've got to use all your seven seconds. Now, six, five, four, seconds. three. Oh, Ellie! You must be brave! Listen to me! Camille's got the logs. You don't have time to complete the fire and get out again. You have to stall them. Move those logs in front of you. Mess it up. That's it. Camille can see what you're doing. Block him. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. I think the saboteur did well good, but will it be enough? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was. Ellie, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Andrew because he kept throwing the log. I heard him um, coming from his tent and f putting the logs on the floor over where he was. Andrew. I think the saboteur was Ellie because when the tent was going down, she kept on pulling the logs off and not trying to light the fire. Camille. I think the saboteur was Ellie because at the end, when all the logs were in place, she kept putting them off. You have voted for Ellie. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Ellie. Ellie, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, devastation! <laughs> Ellie, why do you think the others voted for you? I think I failed as a saboteur because it was a bit obvious that I was pulling the logs off in the end. Poor, unfortunate Ellie. You're trapped! <laughs> Oh, Ellie got a bit gutsy at the end there. How funny. Floor two. One way out. And there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom! To win the key of freedom, unfortunate must answer questions on their time in the tower. It's simple. Win and then escape. Lose and they'll be trapped. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited, I could jive with a jub-jub. Unfortunate. This is your fight for freedom. 
the unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin now! Andrew, which unfortunate was the saboteur on floor four? Ellie. Incorrect, Andrew. Camille, who put the fairy traps into the machine? Jessica. Correct. Andrew, on floor three, how many logs did you need to complete the fire? Nine. Correct. Camille, on which floor did Jessica and Andrew draw straws? Five. Incorrect. Floor four. Andrew, what number was on the wall in Camp Fear? Two. Incorrect. Three. Camille, what was the name of the beast on floor three? Wolf Howler. Incorrect. Moon Howler. Andrew, what game was on floor six? Too slow. Gobbler device. Camille, how many trap doors are there in the tower? Five. Correct. Andrew, what was above Madame de Visage's head? A mirror. Incorrect. A chandelier. Camille. Camille and Andrew, your time is up. Camille, you answered two questions correctly. Andrew, you answered one question correctly. Camille, you are the winner. Congratulations. Andrew, how do you feel about being trapped? I feel very disappointed that I'm stuck here for the rest of my life. Poor, unfortunate Andrew. You're trapped! Camille, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before... There's a sight. Camille goes free, and I'm still stuck here. Mm. At least it's Wiley Sneak's birthday, so there'll be lots of lovely birthday cack. Mm. <laughs> I calls it Ploplet Cack because it's made from stinking vulture plop. <laughs> hey, you're not getting any. Go on, clear off. You wouldn't want to get trapped. <laughs> Thank you.